Hello, hello guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we are going to discuss uh, uh, bearings. I've, got, I've lined up a few examples. So though we are going to start with this as the first example, I think uh, then two more will follow if, if time will allow it. Okay, so without wasting much of your time, uh, what is bearing? What are bearings? Bearing is one way of describing direction. So bearing is one way of the other side describing direction and angles are measured from the north of a point in a clockwise direction. So we can see that uh, so the all the angles when we measure it has to be going in a clockwise direction. And another point to, to take note of is that bearing is not the answer that is supposed to be in uh, three figure digits. So we need to have three digits. If our place is less than 10, it means that that means to have 00, zero let's say for example, we find the bearing of 9, it is 009. If it's less than 100, it means that it will be, for example, 20 to be 0, 2, 0 degrees. That would be the bearing. All the bearing above 100, you know, they are already in three digit uh, bracket, therefore they should be left uh, as they will be found. The first example here is in the following diagram, angle BAC is 46 degrees and AC is equal to BC. AC is equal to BC. B is due east of A. Due east of A meaning it is at the right angle from A. That's what it means when they say due east or due west. It is at the right angle. B is at the right angle from point A. Now, we have to take note of the fact that uh, with bearings, the most or the key words which you and me have to take note of, have to be aware of, is the term from. The moment you just, the moment you just identify where it is taken from, like in this case from C, it means that we go on a point where there is C and measure that particular Angle. So, there are certain topics which we can do our own without, sorry, without having them in, in our knowledge base in order for us to work out uh, these courses, especially angles. So, without the knowledge of angles, most likely we are going to have it difficult for us to work out these courses which have to do with angles. So, First thing you have to take note of is the fact that when you look at this, this is a, an isosceles triangle. This is an isosceles triangle of the base angles are the same. So if we have 46 here, it means that if we here, we are going to have 46 degrees. What does that imply? It means that angles now in a triangle according to the rules of angles add up to 180 degrees. So it means that we can find this angle here. So, so it has C plus 46 plus 46, which must be 180 degrees. Then we add 46 plus. So when we do the calculation, we add 46 plus 46, it gives us 92, and then from 180, we are going to get 88. So once we have this number, Another point which you shouldn't forget about angles is to make sure that all the given points you add the, the nodes. If it's the line which has already been drawn, like in this case, you extend it. We extend this line. Even here on C, you have to draw a node. On B, you also draw the node. Why is this important? Please, they help us to find uh, the, uh, the solutions with this. Like let's say, for example, in this oh, sorry, example. Like in this case, we have been trying to find the bearing of A from C. Like I said earlier on, from is the word which we need to take key interest of. From C. So we are going to go where there is C. The point C is here. Then we start measuring the angle from the north of C, moving the global direction. I'm just, I'm just moving, moving, moving. Until I hit the line joining now the point A and C. 
this shows the bearing of A from C. A from C. So we move in a proper direction until we keep those two lines and join each other. So now, again, another thing here is that since this line is due east of D, I'm oh sorry, D is due east of A, in that here, we will have a 90 degrees angle. So now, subtract from 46, from 90 degrees, we are going to have 44 degrees here. Let me use another color, which is 44 degrees. Now, using, like I said, you can draw out angle if you are going to be good at bearing. Now, using the angle property, it means that if here is 44, even here, there is 44 degrees. So now, what are we going to do? The bearing of A from C will be, when you remember that this is a straight line, remember, you can, this is a straight line that you have added. So this part, where this other part, this part up until this point, this is 180. So we are going to do just 180 degrees plus 44. This will give us 4, 4 remainder 1, 1 plus 1, 2. So the bearing of A from C is 224 degrees. So this is already a 3 digit figure. Then we go to this, which is the bearing of, of C from B, from B, C from B, from, that's what you just want, from B, you jump on to the point B. So now we are going to make an angle from the north of B, moving in a proper direction, so we start moving from the north of B, moving until we hit the line here will be and C. We have to be mindful of the fact that this straight line here is equivalent to 180 degrees. This part here, because we have been told that B is due east of from A, it means that this is equivalent to 90 degrees. So our only job here we shall do now C from B would be to just add. 180. Okay, 180 plus 90, that's just that's 240. That's 180 plus 90 is 270. Plus this number which you have inside here, which is 46. So 6, 11, 316. This would be the bearing of C from B. So our second example. The diagram below shows Mr. Chilequa's trip. He travels on a bearing of 120 degrees from A to B. Again, you can see from, from A from A to B. This is so the measurement from the north of A until it hits the line joining A and the point B. That's the bearing. He then decides to continue with his trip from B on a bearing of 225 degrees to C. From again, from B, moving in proper direction, it hits the line joining C and B. So you can see, the angle of BCA is 35 degrees, find the, the bearing of A from B and B, A from C. So like I said, your job is to make sure that you introduce the north on all the points. Like in this case, you extend this line. This side, you extend it. These nodes are very important, these nodes. Very important. Having done this, you find some angles which can easily help you to work out the question. Like for example here, when you look at this straight line, this straight line, this part, on its own, it's 180 degrees. You see? Also, this part alone, it's 180 degrees. So, that makes it easy to help us, like 180 degrees, take away this, to help us find this angle. And, so now, when you look at one, 
80, take our 101. We are going to get 39 degrees, so here we are going to have 39 degrees. Another thing is when we subtract 180 from 2.5, we are going to get 45 degrees. Again, when you look at uh, C and B, we make a Z angle here, meaning the whole of this angle here has to be 45 degrees. So what else are we supposed to find? You can see that this is a straight line. This is a straight line. So we have got this angle, we also have got this angle, the part which is remaining is here. So what we, should, we are what we are supposed to do is the angles on a straight line add up to 180. So we add 89 plus 45 and then we subtract it from 180. What are we going to get? There. So we are going to get uh, 96. So 96. Put it here. 96 degrees. Now we get back to our question. Calculate the bearing of uh, A from B. So A from B. We have discussed that you will go where it is from. Where is from? Where is from? Oh, here it is. From B. So we start moving. From the north of B, moving in the clockwise direction. Just moving even until we hit the line joining A and B. So what are we going to do here? What we are going to, to add, because we know that from this point up to here, it is 225. So 225 plus 96. 225 plus 96. This gives us 11. Remainder 1, 1 plus 9, 10 plus 2, 4. Remainder 1, 2 plus 1, 3.1 degrees. This is the bearing. The other way around, well, since we know that here is 39 degrees, we can just subtract it from angles that are of the revolution, angles that are pointed up to 360 degrees. So 360 degrees, we, keep, we subtract 39. Once we just move this portion, we remain with the, the rest of the angles, it's like a slice uh, of, of, of pizza. So 39 degrees. We borrow one from one six, remains five. Ten take away nine, it's one. Five take away three, it's two. So this gives us three to one degree. You can see that it has given us the same answer. This is A. Then B. The bearing of A from C. Again, we go from C. So C. So I, I, I need to move from the north of C, moving in global until I hit the line joining A and C. And then we have just discovered that using Z angles, the whole of this angle is 35, sorry, 45 degrees. So the only thing we have to do here is to subtract 35 from 45, which gives us uh, 0, 1, 10 degrees. Now, according to bearing this number, it has to be written as 0, 1 degrees. So, pretty much, this is how you are supposed to do to, to work out bearings. Mind you, you cannot work out bearings without you having the knowledge of what the angles. So, let me just give you some questions to test your understanding. Right, so these are. Test your understanding. I've given you these two questions for you to try them out and they take the answers I've given you here. And even on that other question, I've actually given out the expected answer. These questions are to just test your understanding. You see if at all you can manage now uh, on how to work out uh, uh, 
there is from what I have uh, just explained. Thank you for watching uh, and uh, just in case maybe please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.